Wow, I was deeply disappointed when I went on YouTube and I saw people making remarks as to never touch or open this valve right up in here, otherwise it will start leaking. That's probably the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard in my entire life. If you open this up as it's supposed to, okay, that's pressure relief, and you turn it off, it's not supposed to leak anymore. This is a new valve I put in. It cost me $30 from Lowe's. What I do every year, this time this year, it took me a year and a half to get to it, but I always keep track of everything I have here in my water heater. I recommend everyone else do this. Just, just write on the damn thing. Uh, December 30th, 2018, then I've got my six year annual drains to keep track of it. I'm up to the fifth year right now. And I also put in here, pressure valve replaced, okay? And I think we put in soft water probably around, around this time, I believe. I'm not really too sure. But hard water will cause major issues with this up in here. Let me show you what that looks like. This is the old pressure valve. Do you see where the white has, has come off on here? Okay, that's supposed to be solid white. And then also, let me see if I get another light here. Yeah, look under, yeah, look right in here. This has been cleaned. I had this in acetone for about four hours. I had it submerged. Then I got a screwdriver and broke off all that, the uh, deposits, the mineral deposits that are in the water. Otherwise, this spring was, stu was stuck together. And inside too, yeah, there was a lot of buildup down in there too. The reason why this was leaking is pretty obvious. I mean, I can, I can open it now, but it was almost impossible to do that before. So the valve will open, water will come out, but when it closes, it does not fully close because the pressure relief valve is bad. So for goodness sakes, this is a necessity. There's a reason why this is here, by the way. Pressure relief valve indicates exactly that. Too much pressure in the tank, and this will allow it to relieve itself. But if it's not working, that's a perfect indication. No, well, you need to replace it with a new one. And it is so simple to do. You don't even have to drain your full tank if you don't plan on draining. You just get rid of about one quarter of the water. Just, um, Turn off your water up here for the refill. Have your hose attached down here. Now, because I drain this yearly, this thing has a free flow. There's no deposits or mineral deposits that are stuck in here that's gonna make it clogged up. That's why you need to do this every single year. And that's why you need to keep track of it as well. And then also don't forget to turn off your gas. But for the most part, you're not draining the entire system. You just wanna replace your pressure valve. Then you can safely remove this. Get yourself a pipe wrench. It's the best one to use, pipe wrench. Unscrew the bottom here, okay? That will hang loose. And then you unscrew the top part here, all right? Because that's one solid piece. And now you're ready to take off your piece up in here. Make sure to use your Teflon tape on the new one. Cling off the threads on the inside of the tank itself too. Get some acetone or something. Just get a rag. You just cling it up a little bit. Wouldn't hurt. And then put it back in, and now you have a fully functioning uh, pressure relief valve. And in the future, when you do drain, and you open this up, and you find out that it is leaking after you drained it, then just again, follow that same process down to here, or you can even pull it out and inspect it. Or better yet, open the damn thing up before you drain it, and then close it, and see if it leaks. And if it's leaking out to your line, to the outside of the house, then yeah, you uh, definitely want to get that replaced. But don't listen to someone who says, never ever open this up when draining your water heater. That's ridiculous. Open it up, make sure the damn thing works, and if it doesn't, invest $30, and you'll be all set and ready to go. Man, I just wanted to make that clear. I hope that helps. Uh, you definitely want to mess around with that. When I did, it started leaking about a year ago, and I'm thinking, oh man, and then I finally got to it, and that's all it was, was, a $30 fix. No big deal. Okay, folks, I hope this really helped you out a lot. And if it did, well, hell, subscribe. All right, man, thanks a lot, and take it easy.